Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to show you how to use the room finder. You know, normally, let's say in the company we have three meeting rooms. I've created three meeting rooms, but we don't know which room. Uh, you know, if I book a meeting room, which room is empty? You know, which room is available? So I wanted to find a available room so I can book a meeting and you know for this meeting room. So let's see how can we do this. Uh, I have created uh, three meeting rooms in Office 365 Exchange Online. Is a meeting room 801, 802, 803. In for each meeting room, I have already set up the information, like uh, you know the capacity five people and also the company name. If I go back, I click the room contact information. I set the Location never eight and uh, straight city uh, state zip code country. I already said this one for all the three meeting rooms and uh, also this eight zero one is for the uh, executive team and is restricted only for you know AG underscore uh, executive members. To, ex to schedule the you know meeting to this meeting room, others can be you know scheduled by any people in the uh, company. So let's see if I close this one. After I run create the three meeting rooms, I needed to run some uh, go to the PowerShell to run some command. Let's see what command I run. Normally, I need to connect to Exchange Online first, and then I run this this command to you know set up the run this set dash place to set up the building, set up the floor, and set up the floor floor label for each meeting room. I run this one, you know, and then I after I set up this one, I run the get Get this one to see if the setting is already done. So I can run again. If I run this one again, so you see, just three meeting rooms. They have set up display lamp, a building, floor, and floor city. City, you know. And also, I need to create a distribution group and set this one. You know. The distribution group name is all conf rooms. Display name is all conference rooms and the primary email address. And in the end, I put a dash room list. So this the distribution group is only for the room list. And then after I set up this distribution group, then I needed to add the member, you know, Add zero one, add zero two, add zero three to this distribution group. So I added add zero one to this uh to this uh group and add zero two to this group and add zero three to this group. I don't need to run this workspace. Yeah, that's all I needed to run, you know. I needed to set up the building, connect to change, and set up the building, set up the floor, you know, and also floor label, and then I needed to get it confirm is set up. After that, I create distribution group, and uh, for distribution group, I set it as a room list, and then I added this three, Meet room to the as a member of the distribution group. After this done, we need to wait up for you know twenty two to twenty four hours because normally it will take some time to synchronize the setting which we made for the exchange online. And I already done this yesterday, so today I want to check what happened. So if I go to the Windows ten. 
I want to log uh, in as David Smith. Uh, if I, I log into Linda Smith for now, if I go to the Linda Smith has got the admin permission, all the permission for the calendar of the three meeting rooms. For the testing, I said uh, next Monday, you know, from 11 to 12 is engaged for meeting room 801. And for, from 12 to 1, uh, meeting room 02, 802 is engaged, you see. And the meeting room 03 for the, uh, is from 1 to 2 is engaged. So let's see if I close this one. I want to sign out. If I sign in as David Smith, And then I want to go to Outlook. So after I go to Outlook, I go to the I go to the calendar and then I go to work days. I wanted to schedule a meeting, I can make a new meeting and then I send it to send it to Jack Williams. And I want to change the time to next Monday. Next Monday, I select from uh, 11 to 12. So if I go to the, you see on the right side, there's a meeting finder here showing up. I want to show uh, all conference rooms. So it shows 02 and 03 because it does not show 01 because 01 is restricted for, you know, for the, uh, executive team for the, and also 01, this one is also engaged because from in, in the Smith already put this time engaged. So if I change it to 12 to 12.30 and then I go there So if if I change to 12 to 12.30 we see this one 801 you know is available, 803 is available but 802 because I have already engaged, you know, at this time for 802, so it does not show up. So if I click 801, I want to use this time. And then I put the test meeting. And send. So I can select the meeting room and then I send. Because Davis Smith is already the member for executive team, so he should be able to book the meeting for this meeting room. So after that, we see this one yellow meeting room is accepted.
you see is accepted so if i for example if i want to book another meeting i just check if i book the new meeting i book still select jx williams i book next monday now if i change it to you know one to two if I go to the all meeting rooms, no, it's a good look. Can get this one. So you see, just one uh, low available meeting rooms but if i select uh, the time to uh one to one a.m i should go to one p.m because of, yeah so if i go to one p.m we see just edit one and edit two is available but edit three because i have already engaged the three so it's not showing edit three so I also, if I want to send an editor two, I can send an editor two, and then I book. So I book. If I go back to the. So editor two is accepted. So normally to make sure this works, we need to uh, create the, you know, we need to make sure all the commands are running correctly. Like, you know, we need to set up the building flow, flow label, and then we need to create a distribution group. This distribution group shows all, you know, the display name is all conference rooms. And also we need to add the member, the meeting room as a member of the distribution group. And then wait for 24 hours. After 24 hours, then we can use the, you know, the room finder, you know. The room finder is only, if I go to the computer, go to calendar, So I got there, I miss room. So if I if I select uh, today, because today is sun uh, Saturday, if I select uh, today uh Jack Smith. So if I get select all So it says, uh, you know, suggestions are not provided for line working days because today is Saturday. So it's not providing any suggestions. So if I change it to work days, like, you know, if I change it to 13, so we see this one, 13, we see the name, the time, because this is out of work hours. So we change it to work hours. We go to from 9 a.m. So we see the you know, eight zero one, eight zero two, eight zero three, all available, you know, during this time. And if this time is not available, maybe we can select another time, you know, to see if we can find a meeting room. So there's a different uh, time frame you we can change, we can check which room is available. So we can select the you know the meeting room and then we can uh, you know send the schedule request to the meeting room and it should be accepted yeah you see it's accepted yeah that's all for me uh for the uh, room find for today thank you